Raising Your HQ. Beloved one, as you are listening to this, there is an increase in the vibration of your light and your love on this plane. It goes out to the, all the ones who are searching for the light, all the ones who are hurting in their own perception of what could yet be missing, all the ones who are searching, and all the ones who are open to receiving. You have been on a path of service for quite a while, many lifetimes truly. Service to yourself and allowing the awareness of who and what you are to come to the forefront of your thinking and service to the brothers and sisters who are not quite sure what they are looking for. Sometimes that they feel that they have found it, and they come to you and want to know, what have you found that makes life meaningful? And you have been able to share from your heart what you have lived, learned, and have ready to give to one another. Truly, you are a conduit for the infinite. Love of the Father, Mother, God, Goddess, all that is. Sometimes you are not aware of how much you have to share. Oftentimes in the sharing, that which was semi-hidden from your own view is now coming to the forefront. And when you share it with another one, it becomes vividly true for you. So it is a gift from the giver to the one receiving it and back again. You are feeling a certain urge now to come alive, to come truly alive in your own being, in your own awareness to come to the place where you know truly who and what you are. You are wanting to feel the goodness of life, and some of the pieces are coming together for you now, pieces that you have hoped for, you have prayed for, and you have waited for. You are searching for that tiny little piece of the jigsaw puzzle, which will make everything make sense, and you will find it. And that is the good news. It cannot be hidden from you. You will find it. It is foreordained that you will. Why? Because you are creating your reality. And if there is a desire for something, look to the root word of desire. De-sire of the Father. If it is a desire that you have, it comes from the Father, Mother, God, Goddess, all that is. You have to find your joy. I know that as you go through life, there are a lot of times when it seems to be hidden away somewhere, or it may just be beyond the fingertips and you cannot quite get a hold of it. But you are coming into a time now when you are going to know that you have had it all the time. Nowhere is it written that you have to suffer. That is only in the world, in the voice of the world, but that is not where you live, move, and have your being. You work in the world, yes, and you associate with the friends in the world, but you live, move, and have your being in the divinity of you, which is love, which is wholeness, and which is joy. So whenever you are feeling that you want to know more joy in life, allow yourself to get excited about something, even if you think it cannot happen, especially if you think it cannot happen. Get excited about something. What would you really like to do? And get excited because truly you have Father, Mother, God, Goddess, all that is, who is ready, willing, and able to give you that which you ask for. There is one caveat, which has to do with the world understanding of timing as you know so well. There is a belief in process. There is a belief in linear timing. So that which has been generational teaching has taught you that you can put your intention out now and maybe in six months, well, maybe if you're really lucky, it might be three months. But it has to be a process from beginning, middle to end. If you are still keeping that intention and still aware of it and still working on it, it might come. But I share with you that you do not even have to do that much. You set your intention and you get excited about it and you put it in the vibration of creativity. The vibration that says, yes, I can have it. Yes, I can change everything that has seemed to be stuck, that has seemed to be just beyond my reach. I can change everything. And then it comes. No matter how many years you have lived in this lifetime, you do not have to wait. You do not have to earn it. It is already yours for the taking. For the reaching out and saying, yes, it is mine. But the secret to it, you may have guessed it already, 
is the excitement of knowing you can have it. Get into the energy. It is the energy of accepting it that makes it happen. You do not have to wait until you have it and say, Oh, now I accept it. You accept it from the moment you set your intention, and it will be right there with you. Unless, of course, you still believe the generational teaching which says, Well, everything you want has to be a struggle, and you have to wait a while, and you have to be worth it, etc. Generational teaching is old teaching, old thinking. That which you are looking to do and to have in three days, three days from now, it is yours. Know it, feel it, accept it. In three days, one, two, three, it'll be yours. Three days, or perhaps sooner. Take it to heart and accept it. That which you have been waiting for, you can have. You can accept it right now. It is yours. Now the second caveat, which is this. You have to be clear about what you want, because that which you are asking for is going to come to you. If you are sort of thinking, well, this and maybe that and whatever, you're going to feel like it has not really come because you have been all over the road with it. So you get completely clear about it and it has to come to you. It has to be yours. Ask of yourself right now, what do I really desire? What do I really want? What means the most to me? What do I want to have, to see, to be, to do? Where? What would really make me excited? You know it can be, not only can be, it will be. It is foreordained. The only thing that you're waiting for is perhaps a bit of the process of putting it together, but it is foreordained. That is why the wish, the desire, has to come to you, and it will be yours. What I am saying to you is, as you are the extension of the one creative source, and you are, you can have, manifest anything that you desire. In truth, there is no limit to what you manifest. So allow yourself in your next quiet time called meditation to get clear about what you would like to have, what you would like to see, who you would like to be with, and where you want to go. If you want to manifest for yourself perhaps two weeks in a warm, sunny place, you can have that. And if you want to go hiking in the snow, you can have that. Set your intention. Put more vibratory energy into it. Come alive in the imagination, feeling the reality of the intention. You can be that which you want to be. Surround yourself with the energy of ones who are turned on, because that truly allows you then to take hold of your energy and to come alive. Raise the energy level of your HQ, your happiness quotient, Now you have had some ideas come to your mind. Let's take these ideas and see them come alive. Let's do what is called the meditation. Take, first of all, the deep breath, which allows all of the cells of the body to come alive. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Feel the rhythm of the deep breath. Allow yourself to see in the mind's eye a meadow. A most wonderful grassy meadow where there are little yellow flowers and white flowers, purple flowers, each one in its own radiance. Look to the horizon and see how the tall grass grows, waving in the wind. You are on a path, and as you go along the path to the hill, you walk easily up to the top of the hill, and from there you can see the valley below. It was an easy climb, and now you see the grass and the trees below. Are there any birds? Are there any four-footed ones looking up to you? Now look to the heavens. Is there a cloud off in the distance? Call the cloud to you. Know that it is coming because you have called it. Allow yourself to be on the cloud, looking down at the grassy knoll, looking down at the meadow, looking down at the flowers. Allow yourself to drink in the whole vista below. Know that truly you are the creator of all that you see. You are painting for yourself a most wonderful scene, and it is coming alive. You see the wind as it blows through the trees. You see the wind as it makes ripples in the grass. You see the birds in their flight. From your vantage point on the cloud, you behold everything that you have made. Then allow yourself to look up. There is now a vantage point above you where you are now looking down on the cloud that you are sitting on. You are now one with the sky, being supported by the vibration of the sky. 
As you are sitting there beholding everything that you have created, think in your mind, what is your dearest wish? What do you want to see? What do you want to see? Where do you want to see? And how does it feel? Fly to that which you are wanting. Allow yourself the energy of moving effortlessly to that which you desire. Feel yourself to be in the embrace of that which you desire everywhere you go. Everything opens to you. So what do you want to see? What do you want to be? Where do you want to be? Who do you want to be with? What are you doing? Are you doing it on your own or with others? And how does it appear to you? How does it feel? How does it feel to know that you create your reality moment by moment? How does it feel to be truly alive? How does it feel to be truly creative? Does it feel as the music? Can you hear the music in your head, in your ears, in your whole body? Can you feel the rhythm of life? Can you feel the rhythm of song? Are you the music of life? Are you alive in that music? Do you come to a realization of the allness of you, the wholeness of you, the vibration of you with and without form? Allow yourself to be with your true desire. So, how does it look? How does it feel? Feel yourself to be vibrantly alive. Know that truly you are energizing the energy that you are, coming alive to that energy. Know that truly you are creating and being aware that you are creating. Take hold of your desire and make it manifest. Allow it to play out in front of you. You can have it. It is yours. You can have it. It is yours. And when you are ready, allow yourself to be seated on the cloud once again, looking down at the meadow, looking down at the grassy knoll. Remember the feeling of the desire. Know that truly you hold it within your capacity to make it manifest. Now find yourself standing on a grassy knoll, looking down on the meadow. Feel yourself walking through the tall grass in the meadow. Stretch out the arms in your mind's eye and behold everything that you have created. Hold within the heart the energy of what you have experienced. And when you are ready, allow your awareness to come back to where you are sitting. And you have now just raised your HQ, your happiness quotient. So be it.